I might take my glasses off for this one because I keep seeing the light reflect in the light. It's really annoying. Oh. Although I don't know how that looks. Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Missed yesterday. Do apologise. We went to Mr Village today and also like Poundland and the works. Um, but I've got a big fat haul. Biggest haul of my life. Big fat what? Um, so fat. for... Johnny? Cara? Are you calling me big and fat? No, I thought you said big fat haul. Haul? Crikey. So um, yeah. yeah, very excited to show you what we got from Vista Village. Shall I begin? No. Yes I shall. No, don't begin. Just scrap the whole video. It's all finished. Do I look like ow? First place we went to was Paul Smith's, where our lovely friend Jamie works. All the lighting in this isn't amazing. I apologise about the lighting. Would you change the light to white light or something like that? Oh yeah, I'll just grab one out of my butthole, shall I? Joe, what are you doing? Don't lock it. Whoa! Charlie! I dropped it on the vlog! Good, that's karma. Because you're going to ruin the focus, I think. But I'm also blind. So this is yours! Why have you got blocks on the floor? you... First thing we got was... These shoes. Now this wasn't a Christmas present. Well it was, but it was for myself. Um, but Charlie got them for me. Um, as a, my Christmas present, so I'm going to show you them and then they're going to get wrapped up and I can't have them till Christmas. But so, just to show you, when you get something from Paul Smith's, you get a little bag like this, super cute. And inside we have my gorgeous new shoes. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> they are beautiful. I am obsessed with them. There's a little frog on them. That's adorable. That's so cute. Um, I got those in a size 26. 36. Ooh, which I think is the size down from the size 4. I'm usually size 4 but they are quite, they come up quite big so if you are thinking of getting these I would go for a bigger size. I mean a smaller size. So we'll these shoes are £330, which might sound crazy, but in Bista Village you can get them for £155. So I think like that's a really good discount, that's madness. Um, I think they're stunning. Hello. They are the most... Billy is Charlie, you can't talk. Oh no, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> Billy's vlogging! Billy knows you're vlogging! <laughs> Hi Billy! They do come with white laces if you want to change them to white, which I think I might do. I might see what it's like. Thing we got was some shoes for Charlie. These I think are so smart. I really like these. These are a pair of black leather Paul Smith trainers. They've got this really cute um, colour detail on the back which I think makes them. Um, well, I think the Chinese kid makes them. But they're amazing quality, really, really good. 300 and some pounds down to like 170, which again is amazing. To go with my really cute shoes, I got some really cute socks. They're little cats. They've even got cat ears. I think they are bloody adorable. Those were only 17 pounds. Oh no, 10 pound right, from is, is the outlet well. price which is, I mean, for socks it's really? a bit much, but yeah. I think they'll look really cute with my shoes, so. And also I got one of these boxes, so. Really? What you can do is pick the socks that you want from Paul Smith's and then fill the box with the socks. So, something like that. Have three going down, <laughs> and then that's a really makes a really nice gift. Okay, the next thing we got was this jacket. Charlie wanted to get it in black at first but I said he should get it in blue because um, 
he has so much black stuff. He literally only wears black. I'm going to take my glasses off because I can see yeah. the reflector on the light. So if I go out of focus, I won't be able to tell. I'm really sorry. But yeah, so he got this jacket, which black. has got the little um, Paul Smith zebra on it, which is really nice. I think that's, that is so trendy. <laughs> that is... That is lush. This was... So the original price is £265, but the outlet price is only £149, which, come on, it's really nice. It's such good material. You are going to look fly in this, Charlie. And the last thing we got from Paul Smith's was Charlie's new jeans. We were recommended by Jamie to not wash jeans because... You're not supposed to apparently. I always wash jeans because, I don't know, I just do. But apparently you're not supposed to. Just wipe them down because it ruins them when you put them in the wash. So another thing that um, our friend Jamie threw in were these beers. Cotswold. 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 Brew. Yeah, they also chucked in these Proseccos, which oh, I might drink them both tonight. They were delicious. Thank you, Jamie. I really appreciate it. And I know Emma watches the vlogs, so if you're not watching, Emma, let him know that I'm very grateful because I love Prosecco. Next place we went was Calvin Klein. I got these for Charlie for Christmas, which is just a pack of socks. He really likes Calvin Klein socks, so I thought that'd be really nice. And they were only £13 for four. They're women's socks. That's all right, I'll wear them. Why What's the difference? You, why did you pick up women's What's the difference between men's and women's socks? There's nothing, is there? Well, they might be a bit small. Well, you wear mine, so it should be all right. I don't know if this is weird to show on the vlog. But I'm going to anyway. I bought this bra. Ooh, cool. Because Calvin Klein never do bras in my size. They are just always the most tiny little unsupportive bras and that makes me really sad and I found one which was near enough in my size it's nice and padded it's got the Calvin Klein like logo on it which I think is really nice and that was £30 which is actually really good for a bra I was really surprised um, I've spent more than that in M&S for a bra I also got some undies from Calvin Klein. Ooh, cheeky cheeky. Some red ones as well. Just comfy pants, you know? I love a comfy pant. <laughs> oh, he's such a lovely guy, isn't he? <laughs> My god. Who's telling you to kill yourself online, Charlie? It's a bit dark. Next place we went, which is the last place we went in Mr. Village, was Kath Kidson. This next bit, Fiona which is Charlie's mum. If you're watching, please, I mean this in the nicest way, go away because there might be a few cheeky Christmas presents in here. Tell them my mum to go away. Yeah, harsh, I'm sorry, I know. Mm. So the first thing I got, which I'm thinking we'll give to There's Charlie's mum, everyone's got fucking main tree. Was this cute little lunch box. It's so nice. This was £15, um, reduced from 25 yeah. and it's got this really lovely flower print on the front. It's like a, a tin one, it's got a wooden lid. Really lovely, I thought she could have that for a little pat lunches because she does like teaching and stuff. So that's really cute. Next thing Charlie actually chose, I was very impressed with him, it was really nice. Um, which are some other mitts, which might seem like a really rubbish Christmas present, but she's very, like, her kitchen and stuff is quite Kath Kidson themed, so that was quite nice. I thought that was really lovely, and they're really, really nice print, which kind of goes with the lunchbox, so that was really nice. These were £16, reduced, well, yeah, the outlet price was £10.50, which... Again, is a great discount. What's this? Ah, we got her to go with the lunch box. This I'm terrible at this bottle. Game. I've always wanted one of these, so I am really tempted to go back and get myself one. But it's got like a middle, but it's like like two layers. I really love 
glass water bottle. It's an, again a really similar flower print to, I think it's actually, yeah, it's the same as the oven mint. mint. So, where is the enemy team? I don't see That'll go really nicely. And I think we're going to put all these in a hamper for Charlie's mum because we got her a, a little like hamper box for um, her birthday and she really liked it. So, then the last thing we got for her was this body wash and lotion set and it comes with three little body washes and three little uh, lotions which is really cute it's got these little hedgehogs on um that was 12 pounds now eight pound i think that is the cutest little gift i would really like it if i got that something like that so i know she'll really like that okay for this next part nick from work if you're watching get lost because you can't see this just skip ahead a bit please we're not really supposed to be getting presents for anyone so because we did a secret Santa I saw this and thought it'd be really nice because Nick has been buying things for her future house and it's all been like calf kids and theme and I just saw these and thought I think that she'd really love them so I got her this set of two mugs and because I am leaving work soon, I thought this would be an excuse for her to invite me around for tea so we can have a Kath Kidson mug each. Um, these were £12 down to £8. I think they are adorable. Okay, that is everything we got from Mr Village. And now I'm going to show you some of the bits that I got from Mr Town. So, um, a lot more, like... Crap. Not crap, no. It's like the kids' presents, so yeah. like fun of it. And then there's some like bits for you as well, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Oh my great girlfriend. This first thing was from Poundland. I bought this photo frame, which Ow. I really like. I did also buy a gold one, but Charlie decided to smash that last night because he got really angry at me. Don't say head. that! That's not very sh that's not a good thing to say at all, is it? <laughs> no, you're gonna have to cut that out now, completely. I'm joking. Just he... makes me feel like I'm you sound make me sound like I'm abusive. I was joking! I'm yeah. obviously joking. No, obviously I'm abusive, so I'm gonna become an abuser. <laughs> um no. so annoying. Cara, can you stop can you you shut up? I'm trying to play video games here and you're I'm nearly finished, off. just shut up. Billy's getting annoyed with me, he's shouting at me. You know, it's not very good, is it? Yeah, so I did buy a gold one to go with this, but um, Charlie accidentally smashed it last night because... She put it on the floor. I didn't um? put it on the floor, actually. Somebody else did. I put it on the sofa and it got my Oh, God. What, Cara? Yeah, she always buys stuff. Just, yeah, just, Can just you spend guys on just be quiet? Yeah, that's awful. So, yeah, this frame, oh, I no, think, is really is. nice. Um... It's either going to go in my new living room or the new bedroom, I haven't decided yet. I might do a little like photo wall in my bedroom. For a quid, don't mind if I do. <laughs> the next um, couple of things are from the works, which is where I currently work. Um, so obviously I'm going to buy loads of stuff from there because I get a discount. Why the heck not? First thing is this Berry Burst candle, oh, which I bought for Charlie because he really loves candles but this year the works are like coming through with the candles they we have loads i can't even open it it smells mm. do you know what it smells like it smells like cow pole which no. who doesn't like cow pole? how have we gone from winning this to losing it's a multi-colored one which i thought Charlie would love because he really likes the look of like oil spill so that's kind of what i thought it looked like you know like the liquid ibuprofen that you had when you were a kid. Alright, druggy. Mmm, so good. So good. And that was four quid. Bargain. Charlie, you're really putting me up on game. Charlie, I really don't care. You're the one that told me to film in here. Oh, I'm kind of regretting that now. Right, well, that's a bit involved. The next thing I bought was, um, this wasn't today, this was actually the other day. Um, it is actually a birthday present. But I'm going to show it anyway because you could get oh. it easily as a Christmas present. It's this unicorn blanket. It's got a hood. It says, soft and snuggly blanket. 
with iridescent horn. I bought this for my niece Bonnie, who I haven't actually seen for her birthday yet. I need to get on that and get her a present. But that was £7 for that one. She's going to look so cute back up in a little unicorn blanket. And then the other thing I got for her to go with it, uh, this soft unicorn toy, <coughs> which is kind of like a pillow. And she's only like, shoot, how old is she? There's so many of them, I forget. Two. Fairly sure she's two. Um, two. So it's just a nice little thing for her to cuddle. And this was £7 as well. Next thing I got, oh, this was from Poundland. I just got a milk tray because I might get hungry tonight. <laughs> um, the next ones that I got are so cute. So I bought the Winnie the Pooh. Christmas oh, it's been so long. Yeah. And a Minnie Mouse cuddly oh. toy. They're so cute. They were £10 each. And um, these are going to be for my nieces who, mum, my brother's girlfriend really loves Disney. So, and they all love Disney. Everyone loves Disney. Who doesn't love Disney? They're well cute. Look at them. Adorable. Next thing I got was a hamper. I'm probably going to get a few more of these, but these are two for ten pounds from the works. And I was thinking for my mum, my dad, Charlie's mum, I can fill some hampers. Picture this, all the packets and bits, bottle of wine, a few chocolates, things like that. The next thing I got was this cookbook. This has been so popular at my work this year and I just thought, what a Christmas present. It's got some really nice recipes in it. Um, some really nice like veggie recipes or like things that you could easily change to veggie super nice and it's called a pinch of nom this was well the rrp is 20 quid but it's only 10 pound at the works no, last said, thing in this bag it. is these little fairy lights they're just stars and i thought i could pop those either around our stairs like the banister or maybe um maybe <coughs> in the room haven't really decided yet they were three pounds again from the works as you may night. already know, the new Frozen film, Frozen 2, is out in cinemas and I haven't seen it yet but I already know it's going to be amazing because it's Frozen and my niece Tallulah told me it was really cool, like better than the first one so I have bought some Frozen presents for the nieces and nephews. This is the first thing, so it's a whole colouring set. This is only £8 and you get the crayons, felt tips, pencils, you get a load of stickers. So yeah, that was £8. Next thing I got was this. It's a colour your own bag. It's got Elsa and Anna on it. That was only £6. It comes with the colouring uh, felt tips. It's super cute. and. Every kid loves super colouring. Cute. Was it super cute? Oh my god! Was it just cute? It was super I need to shut up saying super cute. Everything's just super cute. Next thing I got was this sticker tin. Kids really love stickers. You can't really go wrong with stickers. It comes with one storybook, one activity book, two sticker sheets, over 15 press outs, and one fold out scene. Love it. I thought this would be a cute little gift together. So this was £2 and this was £2. This is your little like stationery set which has got the frozen bits on. That would be good for one of the older nieces because um, I don't know, they can use them at school or something. That's what you want for Christmas, something for school. No, it's because it's like exciting. It's more exciting <laughs> than a boring ruler and a boring pencil. You've got Anna and Elsa on it. Can't get much cooler than that. All their friends will be jealous. Um, and then a little activity pack which has got all the um, frozen characters in it. Comes with pencils, there's three plus, so don't give it to anyone under three. Right, so that was everything that I got. Yes, I'm sure I, well, I know I've got loads more Christmas shopping to do, but hopefully that was a little bit of inspiration for some Christmas presents, if you haven't already got them. Come back tomorrow for another Vlogmas. Thanks very much for watching, do give the video a like if you want to, that'd be really nice, um, and subscribe if you haven't already, 
Thank you everyone who's been watching Vlogmas. I have been told that people would like to see more of Rita, even though she doesn't do a lot, she's a bit of a boring dog. Don't get me wrong, love her. I just love her cuddles, she's great, but if you want to see her, that's fair enough, I'll insert some Rita footage now. People requested more Rita in the vlog. This is a fantastic run, 1080 for the full three rotations. And he gets um, to look at that fat shit. She's not a shit. Oh, she just winked at me. Get your big old hand out of the way, Josh. Hey, Rita, you little blah 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 blah. Oh, How you doing, Rita? Cookie. You've just got so much food around you, Josh. I've got some Pringles and two packs of cookies. Your foot. <laughs> Good. Bad touch. Hi, Rita. How's it going? Are you having a nice little sit on Josh? She farted earlier and it smelled like a sewage treat works. Really? And that's not even a joke. It was horrible. And then she looked at me like I had done something wrong. <laughs> that's how disgusting your sort of dog is. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, and have a lovely night. Goodbye! What the hell is going on? There's a horrible sound coming from this building. <laughs>